2014 presidential and national assembly elections has officially kicked off. Election officials were busy as early as 4 o'clock this morning, making final preparations before polling stations opened. Prominent political figures like the DTA's President McHenry Vanani was among the first people to cast his vote here at the Baines Shopping Centre. We will be speaking to him to get his insights on this year's elections. We have done one of the rigorous campaign process throughout our history. Uh, I think the reminiscent of 1989, we really ran a very good campaign. We hope to retrofit from it. We have done a good job on the ground. We hope to benefit from a lot of votes and we are very confident that the party is going to do very well in this election. So how do you see the process so far? The process is um, very slow uh, at the beginning because the problem, we have a scanner problem especially here uh, and it is making the process to go very slow because if you look at the last time that we were voting at uh, Vendu West by election, the process went very, very fast because the scanners were in order. But because of an absence of a scanner that is working, people have to feel, I think it is delaying the process. And I think one of the challenges is that the magnitude of people, uh, if, if you look at India, the country where EVMs are, are, are coming from, you have at one polling station three, uh, at one place three polling stations. You can have at Baines three different places where you could vote. But uh, perhaps it was in terms of cost that people could not acquire a lot of EVMs or so forth because people are standing for a, a bit a longer time in the queues. And that, that is a worrisome trend because a lot of people are going back home in the hope of trying to come back later. Because I'm, I know everybody wants to come back later, but later would also be very full. So my, I want to urge our society, our masses out there, that people should... Um, be patient and stand in the queues and make sure they, they cast their vote. Otherwise, the process has went very well. There was a bit of a hiccup there with the EVM. Well, I think it is something that the, the EC and its officials has to explain. That on the National Assembly one, you are getting, on, on, the, on the EVM, you are getting a, a red button. When you vote, when you cast your vote, you are getting, you are getting a, a red light. And when you register, it goes also red, so it registers. But on the presidential one, they, they are seeing that the vote is cast and, and, it, and it's not showing on the machine. So it, 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 it sends a message as if you have not voted, but they are saying it's correct and it's in order. They can see that the ballot has been cast. Yeah, but, but of course the beep sound has to go. Didn't you hear the beep sound after you cast Well, the beep sound, on the other machine it is going right away there. On the other one it is going at the table of the returning officer. But I think what we need to do is that you need to satisfy the would-be voter so that he, he hears the voting the, the beep on his machine. But uh, I don't know how the process is working, but that's the process currently, that you are only hearing the beep only at the, at the retaining office's table and not on, on, on where you are voting. Overall, are you happy? Well, I'm, I'm very happy and I want to urge more Namibians in their thousands. In fact, we have 1.2 million voters. Let's make sure, let's surprise this country and go 97% all of us to, to the polls.